Hey guys, this is Ashik Kumar. To install Headlamp GUI, first we have to search for Headlamp for Kubernetes. Ah, uh, you can click on installation. They are providing multiple choices. Ah, uh, you can either install in your Kubernetes cluster or you can run as a desktop application. So here you can see that I have successfully installed my Headlamp in my local system, so which is already running. So now if you want to connect your kube config file, so first you have to go to your terminal, then you can paste this command. Export your kube config, then you can pass your path, whatever the kube config file you have and which path. Let me reopen this again. Let me click on Docker desktop. If you click on this option, this will give overall cluster overview. So you can see what is the total unit of CPU. I have a 10 core CPU, a uh, memory 7.66 GB I allocated for this cluster. This is the total number of ports as of now. Uh, this is the number of nodes ready in my cluster. And here you can see all the Kubernetes events. For example, whenever you try to pull an image or whenever any readiness probe is failing, config map is there, then all the error which will be listed over here. Let's go to namespace. Under namespace, you can see all the namespace. Uh, under nodes, you can see all your nodes. If you click on the node, you can see the detailed uh, you know, description of your node. Uh, what is the toleration? What is the taint of your node? What is the labels of your node? All information you can see here. Even uh, what's the version and how many ports are working and which other ports are working in the particular node. If you go to custom resources, you can see the CRDs over here, custom resource definitions. Next section, if you go to this option, you can see all your workloads. Uh, how many ports, deployment, stateful set, daemon set, replica set, jobs, cron job, all information you can see here. If you want to specify a particular namespace, you can go to right side, you can filter the namespace which you want. Next option, you can see storage. Uh, you can see your storage uh, volume claims, uh, storage volumes, then you can see the storage class. You can create your own path. As of now, this is I created for host path. Uh, if you're using any cloud-based uh, Kubernetes like EKS, uh, GKE, AKS, then you can use any dynamic persistent volume storage class. Uh, let's go to service. Okay, this is a network. Under network, you can see service, endpoint, endpoint slices, ingress, ingress route, ingress class, port forwarding, network policies, all the information. This is a security section. Here you can create your service accounts. Uh, you can create your roles as much as you want. You can create a role binding over here. Next section, this will give the config maps, uh, secrets, HPA, uh, VPA, vertical port auto scaling, then PDB, uh, port disruption budget, resource quotas, limit range, priority, all you can pass over here. If you go to last section, if you want to install any packages like Prometheus, Grafana, or if you want to install Nginx Ingress, uh, you can just quickly go to these apps, then you can select install. So this will install to uh, one particular namespace. Namespace also you can select while you configure this. So thank you for watching my video. So uh, see you in next video. Bye bye.